In today's video, we're going to go over the trades it took this past week and the overall direction where we think the market's going to go in the coming weeks. If you're looking to become a consistently profitable trader, you're going to want to hit that subscribe button and leave a like down below if you appreciate the video. I personally trade ES and NASDAQ futures. If you trade that, then you're definitely going to want to subscribe. So without further ado, let's dive into the charts. We're taking a look at ES futures, which is the S&P 500. And I personally believed that we would get a bounce and we would push over 4,000. It came a lot quicker than I thought. I actually repositioned my short I took profit on the rest of my short at the 3950 area and then I flipped long at 3940 so I will show you that trade in a moment so we stopped out longs on the second where we wicked down and then closed above and then pushed up at a real explosive move Friday and now we're looking to stop out shorts before we continue lower so on the chart we have a fib retracement I personally believe we're gonna get into the 50% or the 618 from the entire decline. I have an alert set at the 4060 area because that's one first area to short. And then second area would be filling the trading here, getting to the 4080 to 4100 area for another area to add more shorts. This is the trade I took, three to one R, got in long 39.42, stop being 39.11, and then target being 40.36. So what I was personally looking at, then this is the four hour chart, is I was looking for a sweep of the highs around the 23rd or 24th of February. I thought that we would trade up into the box here that I have drawn, which is the 4050 area. We actually did hit 4052 on Friday, but I took profit at 4036. So this this happened much sooner than I thought. As soon as I got in, we had a really explosive move. I had another screenshot. We were almost at TP, and then it was plus 94 points. So that was just in one day. We got to 4036, pushed up, and then we got all the way up into above 4050. Next zone that I'm looking to target is 4060 to 4070. What I'm planning to do is shore from around 4060 to 4100 down to about 3850. I personally believe we're gonna hit that by the end of March and then we could trend back up higher or we could keep going lower. We'll have to wait to see what, where the market is and where a lot of things are at that point, but that's personally what I'm looking at. If you take a look at every single bear market rally we've had, you'll see that we made a retracement to at least 50%. So just from here, uh, August high, we sold off and then we had a two day, possibly three day bounce up into the 50% retracement. What that would look like here is getting up to 4070 and then continuing lower. If we took a look at a previous rally we had at the end of March, we take a fib retracement from there and we retraced up into the 61 fib. So we retraced into the 61 fib and then continued lower. We just take a look on my chart right now. Made a high about 4630, sold off to 4500, and then had a two to three day bounce, making a high at the 618, just about 4600. And we traded into the resistance to the left. What that would look like is if we did that here, we would trade up into the 41, maybe 4110 area and then sell back off. And that's the resistance to the left here, meaning we shouldn't trade up into about 4150. We should always stay below 4150, but we could come up into the low 4100s before continuing lower if we did the same thing as the bear market rally that happened in March and April. And again, if we just did with the same as what we did in August, when we sold off and we traded into the 50%, then that means that we would trade up into 4070, we would not trade into 4100, and then we would continue lower and sweep these lows we just made at 3920-ish, and we would go even lower down to the 3800s. So one more is if we uh, take a look at the high, the actual high at 4800, we make a fib retracement to the low, there's this first rally here. Uh, we sold off and we had a one, two, three day re reversal up into the 70% retracement. So what that one would look like is if we did a 70% retracement, we would come up into the 4130 area and then continue lower. But again, making sure that we don't trade up into the 4150 area. So that's why personally, my stop loss is 4150 when I begin to short at 4060 and add into 4080 to 4100. Stop loss being 41.50 and target being 38.50. So let's say I start short at 40.60, I add some at 41.00. Let's say my average short will become 40.80 sometime next week. Then my stop loss would be at 41.50.
and my TP would be at 3850. So that's a three and a half R. Three and a half R means I'm making three times my risk. So current risk would be 66 points. Current reward would be 237 points. And again, if we do the math, 237 points on one ES futures contract, you multiply the 237 by 50. I'll just get specific math for us right here. That's when we're taking a look at 237 times 50 is $11,850. So you can make a profit of 11.8 grand USD in a matter of a few weeks with one ES futures contract if you take a short like that. And you know, current risk is looking at 66 points times 50 is 3,300. So risking 3,300 to make 11,000, great risk reward. This is gonna be on my swing trade account. We'll follow along and see how it plays out. A few things I would be looking at to see more downside is I would like to see HYG roll over again. So I think we could see a little bit of a continuation in HYG to push up, but then I would like to see a divergence where we see high yield corporate bonds falling while ES futures are rising. So we get another divergence because the, those divergences have been playing out very well. That's just one sign. A second thing I would like to see is the dollar pushing up again. So, you know, dollar starting to pull back and trade a little lower, but again, alert set, if we break that high, that's when we'd like to see ESB trading back down at that 39.50 level and then going a little bit lower. VXY and VIX has been selling off really aggressively, which leads to more upside for the stock market. But if we start to see UVXY and the VIX push up again, then that's when we're gonna be starting to see even more upside. So you can see VIX basically making these higher lows and you can see UVXY dumped and actually went almost to a new low. So what I would like to see honestly is if UVXY goes to a new low, then I could start possibly looking for shorts. Reason being is because we make the low, that's when we have a higher probability of us actually beginning to turn back up and start to then turn down on the market. Because remember, UVXY is inverse with the S&P 500. So if UVXY starts pushing up again, that's when you'll start to see some more pain and more selling in uh, S&P 500. That's it for this end of the week market update. I only took one trade this week and it was on that swing position flipping long. I was just watching for a reversal. I took profit on the short at 39.50 from the whole average of 40.80, so that was 130 point, points profit there. Flipped long and then took the 94 pro, uh, points profit on Friday, and then now looking to reposition back short, and that's basically all I'm looking at for this coming week. If you are looking to become a consistently profitable trader, you're gonna want to hit that subscribe button. Next video is gonna be coming up for that midweek market update around Wednesday, Thursday, I'll be posting that, and then again, next Sunday, 12 p.m., you're gonna be seeing that full week market recap. Let me know in the comments down below what you trade. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.